everybody. This is Joshua Hamas with the Community Television Network and TV24. I'm joined here with Lori Denton, and you know if I'm sitting next to her, that means it must be another month <laughs> that we've now stepped into, Lori. So how you been? Good. I can't believe it's already been a couple months since we've been coming out doing this. We're in October now, somehow. October, yes. We're, we're easing towards the holidays. They're coming well, up quick. We are wide open already in the city of Oxford. Once October 1st gets here, uh, we just had Oxford Fest this weekend, so everything is rolling. We will not slow down until Christmas Eve, which mm -hmm. will be the last night for Festival of Lights. We have a jam-packed calendar from now until the end of the year, and so we're excited to talk about some of those things going on. That's exciting. So uh, so it's jam-packed, so go ahead and uh, jump jump right in with both feet. Lori, tell okay. us what's going on. So um, Run for Recovery is coming up at Chocolaka Park on October the 15th. Uh, registration is still open. Uh, you can go to the City of Oxford's website, our Facebook, Instagram, Chocolaka Park's Facebook or Instagram. We try to make sure that there's lots of places for you to find information about our events. Yes. But you can get registered for that. Um, I'm a, I am registered. I will be there. I have been practicing. <laughs> I'm not going to come in last this time, I hope. So I'm uh, very excited about that. That is um, all the proceeds go to the Stuart Chandler Memorial Scholarship. Uh, that is what this race is for, to support those struggling with mental illness. It's uh, a local group that are, they're, they're adults now, um, and they have worked really hard to establish this foundation uh, in memory of their friend. So we also thank that, you know, the schools, they send a lot of, they have a lot of volunteer groups, you know, different types oh, of wow. clubs. And so anytime the city has events like this, um, the school's great. They're always, their clubs get in touch with us. So right. a lot of high school volunteers will be out there on October the 15th, but that's at Chocolaka Park. Uh, you can register the morning of the race at 8 a.m. and the race will start at 9. So also lots of door prizes from local businesses and we appreciate that very much. Oh yes, absolutely. That's a great, a great cause and it's always good to see the schools and everybody just come together. Yes, we work very hard together. We're very proud of our community partnership that we have with them. So, um, Coming up after that, also at Chocolaka Park on October the 21st this year, I believe that's a Friday night, mm -hmm. uh, Jacksonville State University softball team will be playing uh, the Georgia Bulldogs um, at Chocolaka Park. Yeah, right, so, here, right here in our backyard. Right in our yep. backyard. We're very excited. We, um, you know, a lot of attention came from some of the things we hosted this summer at the park. Uh, if you'll remember, we had international teams. We had Japan and Australia, Team oh, USA, yeah. Team Pride. It was a great event this summer, and so more teams are wanting to come and see what all the buzz is at Chocolaka Park. So we're excited to be hosting that. Um, I believe tickets are $5. Parking is $5. Uh, you can buy those tickets at the gate. So check out Chocolaka Park's website for more information on that. Awesome. Um, looks like we will sort of be right at Halloween. We, the city of Oxford always does a great job. We put on a lot of different things leading up to Halloween, uh, and this year is no different. So we will be doing our, uh, this will be, I believe, our third annual Witches Walk and Ride. Mm. So very excited. This will be the third year that I've participated, okay. and, I, you know, we get dressed up. I put on my fancy witch costume, not my witch costume that I wear just on a regular basis. Uh, it's very fun, and, you know, there's a route through downtown Oxford. You can ride your bikes. You can walk. Um, it's, it's just a great, fun event to get dressed up with your friends. Uh, registration is $25 uh, for adults, $10 for kids. Also, that day will be Market on Main. Okay. From, uh, I believe those hours are 4 to 8. And right after the Witches Walk and Ride, which starts at 6, we will be showing the original Hocus Pocus in downtown Oxford at okay. 7 p.m. Okay, good deal. So those are just fun community events. We try to have a lot of things for just different age groups, so we're very excited about that. Right, that's awesome. Uh, following that will be uh, Halloween. So it's on a Monday this year, October 31st. Uh, we will have our trick-or-treat downtown uh, from 6 to 8. If you guys have ever been, it's a great event. Uh, we could not put it off with, or we could not pull it off without Oxford Police, Oxford Fire, Oxford Healthcare Authority. We have to have, you know, all those bodies a lot in, in of place moving because parts. when we have that many people come in one place, we want to make sure everybody is safe. Yes, that is the main priority. But it's always a lot of fun. Um, earlier that day, also on Halloween, beginning at 4:30, the Civic Center will have their traditional trick or treat in their parking lot and their games that they've <laughs> always had. So. Again, that's something that's gone on. Um, I believe the mayor said, you know, we were talking about it the other day, just trying to figure out how, just how long it's gone on. And he's like, as long as I can remember. So, well, yeah, so we're very excited about that. A lot of things happening in October that will carry us into 
November, November, which is where things really uh, kick up for us at, yes. at the city. So uh, Chocolate Park will be hosting a uh, the Green Power race. So Green Power, um, it is an elective at the schools mm -hmm. where they design and build electric car technology. Um, it's great. They get to teamwork, problem solving. Um, we're actually having a showcase where we invite our industries in to meet with students. They learn what they're doing. And you know, our, our very own Gary Mason actually went down there yes. about a week ago mm -hmm. and did a little piece on that. I had no clue what that was until he brought that back and was able so, to watch it. It's really interesting. It's amazing. Um, Britt Young is the sponsor at Oxford High School. Uh, we also have um, a car for middle school age and then the Goblin car is what mm -hmm. we do with our uh, fifth and sixth graders at C. Hannah. The program has grown immensely. We were able to get a grant from Alabama Power Company last year so we could buy car kits for two other schools within the county wow. because Oxford was the only school that had it. We would like to be able to, you know, compete locally. Yes, compete locally. absolutely. But they just had their first race of the season and uh, so we're definitely looking forward to that home race the first weekend in uh, November. It's a it's a big draw. A lot of schools from all over come to participate in that. And nice. It's very, they, they actually come back in January and have another race. We leave Festival of Lights up so they can drive through the lights. Yeah. It's Something they look forward to. And see, so, I wish that I wish we had had that when I was younger. You know, that would so have been I fun to compete in. I probably would have not been um, selected to be in that class. Uh, <laughs> it's you know a lot of math, a lot of numbers. A lot of um, I could talk to them, but. Real good. I could be the spokesperson for Green Power. Well, I would just want to be the operator of the, <laughs> that. That would that would be my job. So. Well, it's great, and also we bring in our um, our media department with the high school, mm -hmm. the film group, photography. Miss Finley and her students. They'll be live streaming that race from Chocolaca Park. Okay. So again, community teamwork. How can That's we right. all best work together? Because these students, they are our future. So. That's right. We're very excited about that. Uh, Public Safety Night is going to be on October, nope, I'm sorry, November, November the 17th. It's going to be in the parking lot at the Oxford Exchange, just like last year. Okay. Lots of, you've heard things like the touch a truck or stuff like that. So you'll have police cars, our helicopter, EMS, fire trucks, other organizations come and bring their vehicles. So it's a great event, um, especially if you have young kids. It's fun. They get to come and, you know, get their pictures made inside the vehicles. And it's just a fun night. Last year was a lot of fun. So. Oh, wow. That is, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So that's coming up. Be watching for all of this stuff. Again, you can always find these details on the City of Oxford's website at OxfordAL.gov, the City of Oxford's Facebook or Instagram. It's always put out there. We want to make sure everybody knows uh, all these dates. We're also in the latest edition of the Oxford Access Magazine. The last thing I'll talk about, Festival of Lights. That is a big one for the city That's of Oxford. A it's a big one for Chocolaca Park. The economic impact there is amazing. Uh, last year I got to work the, work the front lines uh, until I got pulled off because they said I was back in the lineup. But I just wanted to tell everybody how excited that we were that they were coming to Oxford and, yeah. you know, asking them, where are you from? How did you hear about it? And there were tons of families that drove three hours just to come see the lights, whether it's north, wow. south, east, or west. So yeah. we, we draw a lot from the uh, West Georgia market. Mm -hmm. It's um, just a ton of people from that area come. But, you know, we try to advertise and market that to the whole region. Um, it's very it's very exciting. We've got a couple of new things this year. Um, Lamar Carter does an excellent job kind of heading all of that up. Mm -hmm. uh, he does not like the, the camera, so we're going to make sure to, <clears throat> to get him on camera this year. As much exposure as possible. As much as possible, as possible right. but um, we will also, you know, we're on the list of uh, the, the Alabama Christmas light shows that you must come see. Yes. So it's just, it's a ton of fun. Um, October is a special month. You get a discounted, you get discounted tickets. It's the only time we sell discounted tickets, but you can get more information on Festival of Lights at festivalofflights.com uh, or again any of this you can find on Oxford City of Oxford's website or our social media pages. Wow Lori well, well thank you so much now you've covered us from now the beginning of October all the way through the beginning of the uh, the Festival of Lights. That's so. it and once Festival of Lights starts we don't stop um, we are open every night including Thanksgiving and Christmas Eve that is the last night for Festival of Lights but it's just so much fun getting to meet all the different people and um, you know we have a great time out there. Yeah. No, that's a, it's, that's a great event. So lots of good events coming up. And uh, like, like Lori said, make sure to keep a watch on the uh, City of Oxford's Facebook page, their website, and also TV24's Facebook page and our social mediums. Lori, thank you so Absolutely. much for stopping by. Anytime.